reconfigure between the two. Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. ISS Facebook Live. This is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Station, this is Haley Fick. How do you hear me? Hey, this is Station. We have you loud and clear. That's great. Thank you so much for joining us today, Drew and Norishige. We're so happy to talk to our followers about Earth Day, and we have a couple questions from them. Uh, first off, Manish wants to know, how does the research in space help prepare to send humans on a journey to Mars and beyond? That is a fantastic question, and we consider the International Space Station a building block for us to learn to live and work in space. So a lot of the technologies that we're testing here uh, in terms of life support systems and understanding how the body reacts to um, microgravity or zero gravity environment for a long journey to somewhere like Mars is very important to the future of space exploration. That's great. We also have a question from William. He says he loves the racetrack uh, pictures from space and wants to know what is something unique that you can see from the space station on Earth? Well, apparently the, the view from the space is unique only from the space station and uh, we are very fortunate to enjoy that view every day from, from the space station. That's great. Sarika wants to know, do you believe that there's life on other planets too? Uh, that's a good question. As a geoscientist, I absolutely believe that there's life on other planets. And in fact, I believe that there are some forms of life on the surface of Mars. The challenge is we have not yet quite had the, uh, the right scientific equipment to uh, detect those life forms, but we're getting very close. We know there's water on Mars, we know there's sunlight on Mars, and we know there's sources of carbon uh, in the rocks. So uh, it's highly likely that there's forms of life in terms of bacteria, and uh, I believe because of the vastness of the universe and the many possibilities out there that there's a chance for life on other uh, planetary bodies as well. Of course, you have an amazing view, and we love that you share it with us, but Katie is wondering, is there any chance of space travel ever being available to the public? I'm pretty sure in the near future, everybody can fly space, not as a professional astronaut, but a traveler, and it will be soon. I'm sure that's great to hear for all, for all of our followers. Melanie wants to know, do you ever have downtime to enjoy some good tunes while you're working up there? Absolutely. Uh, we listen to music all the time on the space station, and we get a nice variety from the different crew members. Uh, we even have some guitars up here in space, and uh, occasionally we get to play those. I always listen to music when I'm exercising, uh, running on the treadmill. And uh, I know the other crew members uh, do that as well. Sometimes we listen to music while we're uh, eating lunch together, and that really uh, helps set for an, uh, the mood for a nice, nice relaxing time and allows us to get our work done and uh, try and stay uh, happy and upbeat. That's great. We have a couple questions coming in live from Facebook as well. And Alexandra wants to know, what do you miss the most about Earth while you're up there? 
of course, we have uh, good friends, uh, good uh, co-workers, but uh, of course, uh, also we miss families and uh, friends on the ground. Uh, we are a uh, couple of times uh, emailing uh, TV conferences or phone calling uh, and uh, get connected with these people. And you're in an interesting environment up there. So Paul is wondering, when you first experienced weightlessness, did it feel like falling at all? That's a good question. Um, what was interesting for me on this space flight is when I got to space on the Soyuz spacecraft, as soon as the main engines cut off, I felt like I was hanging upside down. And that feeling persisted for a long time. In fact, it lasted until I climbed, I unstrapped from my seat and began to move around. But I literally felt like I was hanging from the ceiling of something, even though I knew I was orbiting the Earth in a spacecraft. That's really interesting. This next question might be really tough. It is from Josh, and he is wondering, is the Earth more beautiful at day, uh, daytime or nighttime? Yes, this is a difficult question, but uh, I would say the changing uh, from the night to the uh, morning and the uh, you know, evening to the night, uh, that the changing time is a very short period, but uh, it's very beautiful. Yeah. That's great. Um, we also have a question from Noni, and she is wondering, what are your favorite Earth pictures that you have taken? Well, my favorite Earth pictures are the unique pictures I'm getting of uh, racetracks around the world, but I also enjoy taking pictures of my home state and the area around it, which is Michigan, uh, because of the Great Lakes and the interesting geological features that are around that, that state. So for me, that's my favorite. Well, how about you, Nima? What's your favorite pictures from space? Well, a uh, couple of minutes ago, maybe a half hour ago, I uh, noticed we are flying over Houston, and I took a picture of Houston, because Houston is uh, all astronauts trained over there and stay there for a long time. So to me, it's a second home. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, taking picture of Houston is uh, a great fun. And Noni also wants to know, do you ever get new cameras sent up to the space station? Uh, yes, we have new cameras sent to the space station quite frequently. Right now we're using uh, Ni Nikon D5 cameras. And uh, the reason we have new cameras sent up on a regular basis is because uh, because of the space environment up here, uh, we start to lose what's called pixels in the uh, frames of the cameras. So what happens is our pictures become degraded and they, they start to get dots or blacked out spots in the middle of them so that the quality goes down. So it's common for us to refresh our cameras on a regular basis in order to keep the uh, pictures crisp and clear. And Stella on Facebook wants to know, Will you be sad to leave the ISS when your mission is over? Yes, it's, it will be very, very sad, uh, especially, you know, we are good friends and uh, good, you know, uh, colleagues. But uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, the families and the friends are waiting for us on the ground. So it will be also uh, very fun and uh, nice. This one is uh, a really good one to cover in advance of Earth Day. Manish is wondering, how have advances in space technology helped us here on Earth? Less than two minutes. I think one of the biggest uh, advances related to uh, space exploration is related to miniaturization of electric electronic components and also um, space hardening of electronic components. In other words, we're uh, building better electronics that are uh, better able to withstand the environment of space, and those are beneficial for primarily for communication and data transfer so that we can uh, do research up here and transmit it back to the ground at high rates uh, in order to gain that information. And also it helps with our day-to-day -day communications with um, cell phones and satellite uh, communications around the, around the Earth. We have a really good one from Greg, and he is wondering, what do rocket launches look like from the space station? Uh, 
the space station. If timing is perfect, uh, we could see the rocket launch from the space station window. Um, yeah. Yes, but uh, sometimes uh, the timing is a little bit off and uh, we could not see the, the launch. Well, I think that's all the time we have for questions today, but I just wanted to say thank you so much to both of you for taking the time to talk to us ahead of Earth Day. And uh, as a couple of Earthlings that are going to experience Earth Day off the planet, we wish you a happy Earth Day on the 22nd. Uh, and thank you for all of your questions today on Facebook. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're doing what we can for everybody back on Earth, and we hope people continue to follow the adventure on uh, NASA.gov. Station. This is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you all participants with ISS Facebook Live. Station, we will now reconfigure video and audio communications for the next event.